Welcome to our virtual classroom. Join me for some fun learning. Hello, welcome to Legacy Lineage Online Learning. I'm your host, Miss Nicole, here for story time. Okay, so we have read stories for the last few days on the solar system and planet Earth to celebrate Earth Day. I also mentioned in the other videos that you can go back into our library to last year where we did almost two weeks worth of Earth Day stories. So if you're really interested in this topic, we have more story times for you. Um, we have talked a lot about the solar system and I even showed you our solar system mobile. And we talked specifically about planet Earth and we also talked about reading a book that was going to bring together Earth Day and World Book Day. So I have a fun story for our World Book Day slash Earth Day story. It is called The Yuckiest Alphabet. I'm so excited about this book. I even left the cover on. I didn't even take the cover off. I just left it on. The yuckiest alphabet. And what I love about this book is it's all fuzzy. <laughs> but I wanted to share that this story reminds me a little bit of a story we read last year for Earth Day, which was I Stink. I Stink is a fun ABC story. So if you like to do your letters or learn letters, you can go back. And in I Stink, it gives us a through Z, all of the different things that the garbage truck picks up. All of the different things that stink. I won't read them, but I will just show you a quick, 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 the pictures, uh-oh, the pictures and all of the yucky things the garbage truck picks up. A through Z. Well, guess what? The yuckiest alphabet is almost like I stink. It doesn't have a garbage truck in it, but it does give you a yucky alphabet. And we're going to read about all of the yucky things in the yucky alphabet. Are you ready to learn? You may know your ABCs, but you may not know the yucky ABCs. So to start, let's start with a song. How about we sing our alphabets and I will sign them. Okay, you ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? All right, you'll get another chance at the end. We're going to try, the song said, next time won't you sing with me. So next time, I hope you will be singing ABC with me. All right, here we go with the yuckiest alphabet. Hmm. A is for apple, rotten and wormy. B is for boogie, bright green and germy. How do you like that? A rotten apple and boogies. Ew. C is for candy, delicious and sticky. D is for dragon, their breath is so stinky. So this girl has candy, but where's the candy all stuck at? In her hair. Oh my goodness. Look at her eyes. She looks very worried. Have you ever gotten candy or gum stuck in your hair? It's no fun. And then it says that this dragon's breath is stinky. <laughs> e is for eel, shocking and slimy. F is for frog, fly fed and warty. So what, let me tell you a joke. What does the frog like with his hamburger? French flies. <laughs> French flies is what the frog likes with his hamburger. G is for goo, gloppy and gloppy. H is for hug, too tight and perfumey. <laughs> so 
Do you ever play with um, slime? Do you have slime? Gloppy, is slime gloppy and gloopy? And how about a hug? Have you ever gotten a too perfumey? That was almost a tongue twister. Have you ever gotten a too pupermy hug? That means somebody smells like they might smell nice, but too much of smelling nice can hurt your nose. I is for ice cream, melted and drippy. J is for jelly, messy and sticky. K is for kiss, incredibly icky. And look at this kiss is puckering up like. And it says L is for lobster, angry and pinchy. Hmm, I don't know if kisses are all yucky. I think yicky kisses are the kisses that you didn't give permission for. Like if somebody wants to give you a hug or give you a kiss, they should probably ask your permission because it is your body. And maybe your body doesn't want a hug or kiss. But I have to say, I love getting kisses um, before my son goes to bed. We always say hug. The hug is like a question, like hug. And then we will hug. And sometimes I get a kiss. I say kiss. And then he'll let me give him a kiss too. But he's getting big. So he's more on the side of thinking kisses are icky. <laughs> M is for mud, squishy, and mucky. N is for noodle, lip moist, and wiggly. Do you like mud? Do you like to play in mud? What kind of animal is this who likes the mud? And how about noodles? Do you think noodles are yucky or yummy? I don't know. If you like spaghetti, then spaghetti is yummy to you. It says, ooh. O is for orange, old, putrid, and moldy. And I can think of another O word that might be, look, Ruby's joining us. I can think of another O word um, that could be a yuckiest alphabet word. What about onion? Onion is very, very strong. That's what the word putrid. Putrid means a strong, bad smell. So sometimes like um, old cheese can be putrid. But an onion is what I call pungent, which means onion has a strong smell. But onion could be another yuckiest alphabet word. Because I would say O is for onion, pungent, and cry. Because when people cut onions, sometimes it makes their eyes water because it's so pungent or strong that their eyes water but anyways let's find out what p is for Ooh, p p is for poopy smelly and goopy oh no somebody needs a change do you have any little kids around you that wear pampers oh that don't know how to go to the potty if you don't know how to go to the potty, it can get to smell really poopy and smelly. Q is for quiet, boring, and sleepy. And these animals, we saw them in our other Earth Day story, the sloth. They're slow and boring and sleepy. And look, R is for rat. Sneaky and squ squeaking and scruffy. I thought it said sneaking. I thought he was sneaking the cheese, but it says squeaking and scruffy. S is for slime, clinging and oozy. Do you like slime? Do you like to play with slime? There's some slime right here. This one is some yellow slime. T is for toilet, stinky and dirty. And this toilet is actually saying burp. Now I would hope that we don't have toilets like this in our home, that they actually get clean because I would not even want to use a stinky and dirty toilet. U is for underwear, days old and smelly. Oh my goodness, look where the underwear are on the dog, on his head. Oh, 
V is not yucky. Let's see what it says. V is for vegetable, nutritious, and healthy. But did you know some people might not like broccoli? They might actually think broccoli is a yucky alphabet. But I think I agree with the author. V is for vegetables, nutritious, and healthy. W is for worms, wriggly and squirmy. X marks the spot, haunted and slimy. Do you like worms? Have you ever gone fishing and had to use a worm for your bait? I noticed that worms come out a lot when it's going to rain. So when you are outside, if you observe, if you remember to look on the ground and see if lots of earthworms have come out and come to the top. Also, if it becomes hot the next day and worms don't get back down into the soil, did you know that the sun will dry them out? Because worms need to live in like moisture where like the dirt under the ground is all wet and moisture is down there that's where worms need to live at so if they come out so that they can get the rain on them if they stay out too long the sun comes and bakes them poor worms so here's x marks the spot and look at look at the fish got some glop or some slime or something like that slimy coming down on them ruby i don't think ruby would like that ruby would you like that ruby <laughs> Ruby's hiding over here. She doesn't want the slime. Look, she came away. She's like, no way, no slime. Let's see what's next. Y is for yak, drooling and stinky. Uh-oh. Z is for bedtime, and bedtime is yucky. <laughs> Do you agree? Do you not like bedtime? Do you like to stay up and stay up and play? And play with your toys or your sisters and brothers or your cousins. Well, the author of this story says Z is for bedtime and bedtime is yucky. And you see one person disagrees, the sloth. The sloth is in the bed sleep. And you know what? Miss Nicole disagrees too. You know why? Sleep is so important to our bodies. Did you know that when you are resting, it's actually a good time for your body just to relax. Your heart doesn't have to pump as fast. Your brain is able to relax and just maybe think on other things. And you might have a really fun dream about bouncing around on clouds that are actually cotton candy. Um, so I don't think bedtime is all yucky. I think bedtime is good for you. If you don't get enough sleep, that's when it becomes yucky because you didn't get enough sleep in the morning when you have to wake up, you're tired. And yes, bedtime is totally yucky then because you're so tired because you didn't get to sleep on time. <laughs> and look what's coming from under the bed. So something is coming from under the bed. And if you go to sleep and you dream dreams with this kind of thing coming out, a dragon, that's not a sweet dream. That's more like a nightmare. The end. So did you enjoy the yuckiest alphabet? That was really fun. That was really fun. And I brought along some slime. I didn't open it, but maybe I'll take a second to open the slime because I knew the book said S is for slime. All slimy and yucky. Hmm, but I'm thinking maybe before we open up the slime and I play with the slime a little, if I can get it open, maybe what we need to do is do the ABCs again because once I get slime all in my hands, I'm not going to be able to do the ABCs in sign language so let's sing those again and then we will explore this slime because our yuckiest alphabet said s is for slime we're gonna play with some all right abc first here we go ready i'm gonna see if i can do it with both hands okay here we go this is my first time doing that you sing along with me all right a, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, 
W-X-Y-N-Z. Now I know my ABC. Next time, won't you sing with me? Yay! This is how you clap in sign language. You wiggle your fingers. So are we clapping for our ABCs? Good job. Now let's look at the slime. Let's see what the slime feels like. What do you think the slime feels like? So let's see what we can learn from the slime. The slime is like a yellowy, orangey color. Kind of looks like this color in my quilt, almost like golden. You see this golden color back here? Yeah, that's what this slime kind of looks like. Do you think it feels cold and wet or hard and hot? Cold and wet or hard and hot? I'm going to put it close to me. Can you reach out and touch the camera? On the camera, it feels smooth, right? <laughs> On whatever device you're watching, that is a smooth surface. I'm going to give it a try. Oh, look, it was about to spill out. Let's see if we can make it ooze. You see it about to come out? Look, see it there? Uh-oh. About to come out. So I can tell you that it feels cold and slimy. Cold and slimy. I borrowed this from Omari, of course my co-hosts on story time and there we have a nice long plop of slime Ooh. do you like to play with slime i know that you can make slime there's a fun slime recipe you can ask a loved one or a trusted adult if they can google it for you and then maybe you can get ingredients and make some slime i think slime is like glue and i'm not sure what glue and something else you know what miss nicole's gonna take a second and i'm gonna google it right now while we have time on story time and let's find out what is a slime recipe here we go, slime recipe, let's see. So it says that you can make slime with three ingredients. You need glue, baking soda, and contact solution. That's right. And you know what? I think I actually have some footage of when we made some slime. So we made some slime and then we bought some slime well thank you for joining me for world book day as we read the yuckiest alphabet and for the end of our earth day theme as we talked about the solar systems and about the planet earth and i hope you thought they were out of this world because i did I love joining you guys for story time and thank you so much for joining me. Actually, before we go, let's do a slimy high five. You ready for a yucky high five? You ready? You ready to give me a slimy high five? I'm gonna get this all figured out. We're gonna do a slimy high five. You ready? You ready? You ready? Here we go. Ready for slimy high five? Gently. Touch the device and give me a high five. How did it work? Thank you for joining me. See you next time. And remember, you are the you in unique.